we're moving into a half kneeling twist. For this one, you'll need a light dumbbell and a block. You're gonna take that block underneath your back knee, toes are flexed under and front foot is flat. From here, grabbing the center of the dumbbell on either side and extend your arms out. You're gonna to wanna to keep your arms straight as you slowly rotate towards the leg of the knee that's on the ground, finding your end range of motion and then coming back into center. We're gonna repeat this for 45 seconds. I want you to watch as you're doing your rotations to make sure this front knee is not following you and caving inwards. You wanna push it and keep it out as you do that rotation. So we are focusing on strengthening the supporting muscles around the hip. All right, time's up on that side. Go ahead and switch. And repeat for 45 seconds. Again, really watching and keeping on that front knee that it doesn't follow you and cave inward. You are always trying to press it out. All right, and time's up. You can come back to center on your mat. We're moving into a single leg hip flexor extension with a pull. So you're gonna use your pull for balance, raising one leg up, try to get your knee to 90 if you can. From here, holding up, you're gonna extend the leg straight or straight as you can, and then back to the bent position. And you're gonna repeat this for 45 seconds. So we're working our hip flexor by holding that leg up and then you're working your quad by extending and squeezing it to try to get that leg straight or as straight as you can. Now option if needed, you can't raise your leg up that high, lower and then just do what you can with that leg extension. All right, time's up on that side. Go ahead and switch and repeat for 45 seconds. All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax. We're moving into a side plank hip dip. So coming onto one of your sides, elbow is stacked underneath the shoulder, and then we're gonna anchor from the bottom knee. So from here, pressing up, top leg is straight, foot is down. You wanna make sure your hips are both up and forward, so we're a nice straight line. From here, you're gonna lower and lift your bottom hip, repeating, for 45 seconds. So we're working our oblique in that side plank position, but also that bottom leg glute and stabilizers as we lower the hip and then press that hip back up.
All right, time's up on that side. Go ahead and switch. And repeating for 45 seconds. All right, and time's up. Come back up to center. We're moving into extended flutter kicks. So coming onto your back, your legs are straight and your arms are straight. You're gonna raise your shoulders off the ground and then lift your legs. So you're gonna alternate which leg is high and low, repeating for 45 seconds. You wanna focus on taking your back and pressing it down into the ground. All right, time's up. Come back up to center on your mat. We're moving into a supine adductor squeeze. So lying on your back, head is relaxed down and you're gonna have your toes flexed and your knees at 90. From here, we're gonna bring your hands in between our legs. Now you can choose to have palms facing each other and pressed together, or depending on the thickness of your thighs, you might want to make one fist into the other hand for a little bit more space or even both, both fists together. Either way, you're gonna bring your hands in between your legs, just above the knees. And then from here, you're gonna take your legs and squish and squeeze against your hands. So feeling your inner thighs and adductors working, we're gonna hold for 30 seconds. So this one is as hard as you make it. If you're pressing against those hands harder, you're gonna get more out of it. All right, time's up for now. So just relax your legs down, take a quick rest. And then you're gonna bring your legs back up, knees at 90, hands in position, and then press against them for 30 seconds. All right, time's up, go ahead and relax. Back onto your mat. We're moving into a Superman sequence. So coming onto your belly, you're gonna have your arms extended straight out in front, thumbs up position. From here, chin is to chest. You're gonna raise both arms and your legs up, staying looking down at the ground, relax, and then open your arms wider to the sides and repeat. Everything up, slight pause, and back down. So just alternate every rep, arms are in front, and then wide to the sides for one minute. So we're focusing on strengthening the entire posterior chain.
All right, and time's up. Come back up to center. We're moving into a leaning quad stretch. So coming onto both knees, feet are gonna be relaxed out. So you're gonna start by sitting on your heels and then from here, leaning back, placing your hands onto the ground. If this is enough of a quad stretch, you can stay here. If not, or if you can, we're gonna try to just raise or lift or take some weight from our hips off those heels. And we're gonna hold here for 45 seconds. So again, this is a very active stretch as you are actively raising your hips up to increase the stretch on the quads. I want you to focus on keeping your shoulders down and back and your chest up tall. All right, time's up. Go ahead and release and relax. We're moving into child's pose. So coming onto your mat, you're gonna have your knees wide and your feet together. From here, we're gonna make it more lat focused. So walking your hands forward and wide. You wanna have your pinkies down thumbs up, and then keeping your hands exactly as they are, reaching your hips back. You wanna feel like your hands want to slide along the floor, so walk them far enough forward that you get that feeling, but then don't let them. So as soon as they're gonna to start to slide, you should feel a lot of tension underneath the armpits and along the rib cage. And even if your butt's not all the way down, you're, gonna, you're just gonna hold there. So we're gonna stay as we are for one minute. All right, time's up. So release out of the stretch and come back to center. We're moving into an upper body around the world. So what you wanna do when you're standing comfortable on your mat is make sure that your low back is neutral. So if needed, take your pelvis and scoop under, little squeeze of the glutes, so low back is neutral and not arched. From there, holding the core strong, lace your fingers, palms facing down, and reach. So think about elevating the rib cage. We're gonna come off to the side, pressing your rib cage out one way, and then rounding forward, pulling your shoulder blades apart, off the other way. Again, watch that low back stays neutral, slight arch back to finish off. So just going one direction for 30 seconds. Really focus on pressing and pulling to get that stretch. All right, so just briefly bring your arms down, give a little shake out. If needed, retuck the pelvis under and then lace your fingers. Go back the other way for 30 seconds.
All right, and time's up. Go ahead and relax.